We're here with uh, Mayor Cervenic in Euclid, Ohio. Discuss uh, what he's been doing and working on here in Euclid uh, recently with uh, gun violence. Um, Mayor, I lost my sister at Virginia Tech on April 16th in 2007, and ever since then I've been an advocate to fix our background check system and to close some of the loopholes that we found exist in the law. And we're going city to city, uh, meeting with mayors who are part of the coalition Mayors Against Illegal Guns, which you are also a part of, is formed around a simple concept um, to respect the rights of law-abiding Americans, but to keep guns away from criminals and dangerous individuals. What motivated you to be a part of Mayors Against Illegal Guns? Last August, we had a, a homicide, uh, an 18-year-old, a 17-year-old, 18-year-old child uh, who was shot that over, we think, a car gate. And we had also had before that a couple of other violent events that may or may not have included gunfire and, and guns. And having been born and raised in this community and not experiencing that when I was that age, it really bothered me as a mayor, and I said, I really do need to do something have to find a way to keep illegal guns out of everybody's hand, not just youth, at anybody's hands who shouldn't have a gun. Those of you that are, you know, that, that, you know that nothing against legal guns. I know many people that own guns. Uh, I know police officers that have guns. I know people that go hunting. That's fine. Right? That's not the problem. The problem is these illegal guns and these guns that are in the hands of criminals, and that needs to stop. I, I worry daily about one of my police officers being shot uh, due to the fact that you pull a car over and somebody has an illegal gun and they're going to use it. And so that's, that's a very tough thing for a mayor. I sit back and know that a policeman is out there doing his job and somebody, because didn't have to go through a background check for whatever reason and shouldn't own a gun, has the ability to shoot at a police officer if they get stopped for breaking the law. So that, it's difficult. With the shootings that occurred last summer here, uh, the perpetrators had extensive criminal records already, yet still were able to acquire guns. Uh, that being said, there are gun shows around here yes. where the <clears throat> private individuals can go and sell their gun without a background check and no questions asked. What do you think is the solution to that? I think legislation should be passed. I think every single person that buys a gun, whether it be at a gun shop, at a gun show, or anything else, needs to go through an extensive background check. You know, we don't, we don't let volunteers coach our children without doing, getting fingerprinted and doing a background check. So for goodness sakes, if you're going to buy, you know, you're going to sell somebody a gun, let's take the time and do a background check. I don't think it's an infringement upon anybody's rights. I think it's the protection of everyone else's rights. At that